All right, so you guys really enjoyed the last video that we did that asserts that basically everything that lives and breathes is a Pokemon clone. And uh, this article is no different, just by a different uh, publication. Uh, I will leave the one from the CBR publication in the description so you guys could check out that uh, video as well. But today we're looking at not quite the very best, 13 Pokemon imitators and ripoffs that didn't make the cut. Now, I'm not sure what they mean by didn't make the cut, but you can already see that there's a Digimon, uh, we got that Pocket Morty's game, which I I'm pretty sure was supposed to be like a Pokemon parody. I I'm not 100% sure, but I, I never played it. We got Yokai Watch, which apparently is a Pokemon ripoff as well. And uh, I'm not 100% sure what that what that Wii U game is. I can't really tell from... Uh oh, it it's Metabots. I, I saw Metabee's name. Okay. So <laughs> anyways, basically, we're just going to break this down and break, why, uh, break down this person's logic and why it's it a lot of it's kind of ridiculous, but... Anyways, uh, basically in the first paragraph, they go on, okay, Pokemon was amazing when it fell 25 years ago, and, you know, it, it rethought how we thought about game design, uh, the anime and the Game Boys, uh, they, they, they did all that good stuff. It's a pretty standard intro. Uh, and then they go on to say, which is why it took roughly zero time for the imitators to come rolling in, dragging whole zoos full of robots, monsters, and scannable UPC barcodes in their wake. So you already have the assertion that any game with robots monsters or in the third case scannable barcodes are pokemon clones like anything with multiple things this is what this person's basically saying like anything with non-human things that you can utilize is essentially a pokemon clone and we've been through it on this channel a million times pokemon's not the first uh monster collecting slash monster taming game there's shin megami tensei uh dragon warrior monsters was actually um what i think it's actually on this list i haven't seen the whole list i just the second i saw a couple of them i had to go through but dragon warrior monsters did come out after pokemon but the dragon quest game that it was inspired by also had a monster taming mechanic that actually inspired satoshi tajiri to make poke up uh, not necessarily was the only inspiration but was one of the inspirations of pokemon as well so it, it, it's, just, it's just funny how they just assume oh well monsters are battling it's clearly a pokemon clone anyway uh and since we've argued that you can tell a lot about a franchise by examining the aspects and others that they rip off from it we present you with 13 games that tried and failed to be the best like no one ever was and beat pokemon at its own game so i'm pretty sure none of these games thought they were going to beat pokemon but let's Let's see. Okay. Monster Rancher. Okay. Tell me how Monster Rancher is a failure. I, if I'm not mistaken, the first game sold over a million copies. Number one. Number two. How does Monster Rancher copy Pokemon other than having monsters that can battle? Uh, like, they have the scannable CD system, which is completely unique. They have the um the, 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 fact, <laughs> the fact that it's basically like a, a V-Pet game with monsters. Like, it's, it's not it's not Pokemon, bro. It's not. It, it, like, like, it's so different. It's not an RPG. But anyway, let's... <laughs> CDs or maybe monsters that live inside these, or CDs or mystery discs. Either way, you get new collectible monsters in ten, uh, Tecmo's Monster Rancher by popping out the PlayStation disc and replacing it with something from your CD collection. Wow, such a Pokemon clone. Wow. How could they copy Pokemon's CD mechanic, right? Am, am, am I right, guys? Nothing unique there. Uh, what are they doing? From there, you do what it says in the box. Ranch some monsters, which is to say train them to fight other monsters. Not solely. Not solely. You don't necessarily have to focus a lot on the battling. Like Some people just like the the sort of like Tamagotchi-esque aspects of the games, but okay. Unlike Pokemon, these fights are exclusively one-on-one. -on -one. Um, no, the original Pokemon games, which you're stating these are are uh, are copying, were one-on-one. -on -one. So I, I I don't know. Did you not play the first Pokemon game? Uh, this might seem a little less active. I, I don't know. Oh, the, okay. They 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 mean like you can't have six at a time. Okay, never mind. I thought they were trying to say that all Pokemon games. Uh, had double and triple battles. Uh, anyway, so it's 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 a Pokemon clone because where does it? It doesn't even say. Does a small child end up owning a god? Some big dragons and other assorted monsters show up, but no gods, unless you consider a monster spawned from your parents' cop. Okay, whatever. Okay, so so they didn't actually say why this is a Pokemon clone. They just said, oh, there's monsters that you can get from CDs. Therefore, Pokemon. Nice, nice. Okay, next. 
Oh, there's also some comments here. Maybe we should read some of them later. Metabots. Okay, this is great. Metabots is a Pokemon clone. I do know that the original games were very reminiscent of Pokemon, but they had their own their own uh, completely different ways that they work. So basically, uh, you can like exchange the parts of the Metabots as opposed to collecting a bunch of different monsters. So again, like robots fighting each other was not invented by Pokemon. <laughs> po Pokemon has Magnemite. That's about it. Okay, there's no robots in in the original Pokemon roster that I can think of off the top of my head. Uh, what are you catching? Robots with a sort of self-referential winky nature. Oh yeah, don't forget, they also talk, which isn't a thing in Pokemon. They're just robots with interchangeable limbs and attachment, some of which you could just buy by picking up extra parts, collectibles, uh, a bold new innovation in bilking kids for cash. Uh, I mean, they... There's no DLC in the first... I, I don't know what this guy's trying to get. Like, like, like... It's not like there's microtransactions in the game. Like, what are you talking about? Unless there's in the new ones, which aren't even out in English. <sighs> what are they doing? Fighting naturally. The metabots are mostly like Pokemon, but with moving and aiming. Okay, so because they fight, they're Pokemon. Okay. So imagine a Pikachu breaking another Pokemon's leg, and it can't run away, and then Pikachu gets up. No, okay. Monsters fighting each other. It's not the same thing as robots fighting each other. Like, that doesn't make it... Like, I, I'm pretty sure there were a few sci-fi movies before Pokemon came out that featured robots fighting each other. So, are those... Are, did Pokemon copy... Like, this is stupid. It's, it's, get out of here. Next. Dragon Quest Monsters. I was waiting for this. Okay. First of all, Dragon, Warriors mon Dragon Warrior Monsters was inspired by the monster taming mechanics in Dragon Quest uh, 4. Five, I believe it was and that was it, it, I wouldn't call it a clone but I mean because it, it's of the same franchise but that was basically an expansion on that system and again uh, Tajiri actually had some inspirations from the game there I mean, they even mention it they even mention it oh my god battling per series tradition in fact we need to give you Dragon Quest some credit here it's a it's catch a monster and have it fight for you. Bonafides actually stretch back to the pre-Pokemon days. So how is it a Pokemon clone? How is it a Pokemon clone if it came out before? How does that make it po a Pokemon? I, I do. <sighs> you have no credibility. Whoever wrote this, you have no credibility. Goodness me. Okay, I never played Jade Cocoon. Everybody tells me it's awesome. Um, I haven't played it, so I can't... I, I, I can't... Um, I can't... A comment on it but i will play it at some point digimon of course because it has mon that's why it has mon in the name Th that's why it's a pokemon clone B oh, oh 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 and the digimon can transform they evolve they transform okay so pokemon's a dragon ball clone because dragon ball they transform right wouldn't you wouldn't you say that you know base form goku is kind of it, it, Super Saiyan is kind of an evolution to that, isn't it? So, 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 so I guess I, I, I guess they copied Dragon Ball because Dragon Ball came out in like the eighties. Um, like, 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 what were they, in the first versions, you had to take care. Oh, oh, they're specifically talking about Digimon World. Digimon World is nothing like Pokemon. If if you're gonna try to call, and and I disagree with this, if you're gonna try to call any Digimon game a Pokemon clone, quote unquote, maybe you should pick up the uh, the. the the Digimon Cyber Sleuth series because they're a lot more similar in that they have like turn-based combat, you collect various Digimon, stuff like that. But Digimon World, I've seen, haven't played it myself, but I've seen uh, gameplay of it and it's nothing like Pokemon. Except for there's monsters. Neopets. It's a freaking web browser game where you can have a pet. Is owning a pet in real life Pokemon clone? One does not catch a Neopet. You adopt it, yeah, like an animal. And then you play mini games. What mini games is po besides gambling? What mini games does Pokemon Red and Blue have? Like I don't understand. Like I swear to God, I, 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 Neopets. I was playing uh, this one mini game where you're like this little dude, and you gotta like dodge ice cream. No, do you dodge the ice cream? You, I, I don't remember. You had to dodge stuff. I, I played it when I was a kid. Anyway, Neopets is nothing like Pokemon except for their animals. And I think there was a battle system. Oh, there was also a card game. I think the card game was called, like, Cheat or something. It's nothing like Pokemon. I, I don't understand how you could say that's a Pokemon clone. Uh, Devil Children. Uh, so this is, uh, I believe, a spinoff of SMT. 
Uh, but basically, you get to use monsters, even though SMT... Okay, SMT has demons fighting each other. This one has monsters and demons fight... Like, like it's, it's so stupid. Like, I, I don't understand how you could argue that this is a clone, a ripoff. No. Pokemon was not around before SMT, so any spin-off that SMT has should not be written off as a Pokemon clone, because if anything, that makes Pokemon an SMT clone for having battling with monsters. Because by the logic here, monsters are battling each other, robots are battling each other, uh, the, the other article we covered, there are colorful things fighting each other, that makes Pokemon a clone of like just every- Pokemon is cloning having pets, okay? Next, we got Scanners. Uh, this I've never played this game, so I can't make a comment. Uh, it doesn't look like a freaking po- I, 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 I don't remember Pokemon being able to scan stuff. Uh, Dinosaur King was another one that I haven't played before. But again, th there, there's monsters fighting each other, therefore it must be a ripoff. Not, not, not just a Pokemon like, a ripoff. Uh, Invisimals. Okay, I haven't played Invisimals either. But Invisimals actually, like, <laughs> you could actually make an argument for Pokemon Go being somewhat inspired by Invisimals in terms of their AR functionality and stuff like that. I wouldn't say it's a Pokemon ripoff, not by any means. Monster Racers. Uh, I've never actually seen this game before, but I have heard of it. So let's, let's see some of this gameplay. Oh yeah, such a Pokemon clone. So it has it has really 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 basic like like um I, I don't want to say basic to make it sound bad but it has like like very um what's the word I'm looking for like not I don't want to say generic but it has it has pretty typical RPG top down view kind of sprites which makes it a Pokemon clone of course and then the monsters race each other bro they they race each other it, it, Pokemon clone def, de definitely bro. Yokai Watch 2013. I do. I do want to make a. I do want to make a point here. Does a small child end up owning a god? That doesn't happen in Pokemon Red and Blue. And you're arguing that a lot of these games, a lot of the older ones anyway, wouldn't have uh, copied Pokemon, let's say Gen 4, where you actually do get to own gods. Maybe you could stretch it and say like Gen 3. Um. So I like, like like I know he that they're trying to just be funny here, but like no, you you're just incorrect. Also on their first page, they were talking about how. The anime and the Game Boy games, like the way they were talking about it is like they came out at the same time, which they didn't. Um, I, I'm not even going to get into why Yokai Watch isn't a Pokemon clone. You're befriending ghosts and they fight. How does that Pokemon? It's the same with robots. It, it's not. It, just because it's a fellow creature collector doesn't make it a Pokemon clone. This is why Yokai Watch had trouble because everybody just in the especially in the west you go to japan people don't talk like this it's just here in the west where you have these like 30,000 year old man child people that are just like oh my god that's pokemon but like this like you see it all over facebook and stuff whenever there's a uh, kickstarter going on for a different game oh it's just pokemon but like this right because people's minds are so just unwilling to open to the fact that there's other things besides pokemon that involve monster fighting and they, 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 they just, they're just like, no, no, you can't talk bad about Pokemon because anything that tries to be like or or is like Pokemon hurts Pokemon for some reason. Like, I, I don't really understand because a lot of people, a lot of people get like almost offended by monster taming games. Like, 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 like their existence is somehow a slight to Pokemon, which definitely isn't the case. And it, it, it's just, it, it's just really jarring because the same people will say, Pokemon sales are doing well. They'll never be able to kill Pokemon. Not that any, we want it to, uh, but but it's just funny. You, you see these two simultaneous arguments being made where on one hand, Pokemon's doing so well, it'll never die. And on the other hand, how dare these games? They're clones. They're trying to do the... Like, it's just, it, it's, it's so petty. I mean, I, I see comments like that on my Nexomon reviews, on my reviews going over games that are completely like monster sanctuaries come nothing like pokemon people are trying to call it a pokemon clone kindred fates real-time combat 3d monster taming and definitely pokemon clone bro like it, it, it's just i i could go on i've never played this pocket morty's game but but like i'm gonna be honest i wouldn't try to take 
a Rick and Morty game that seriously when it comes to like calling it a Pokemon game, uh, clone because I, I wouldn't be surprised if it's memeing to try to be like that. I've never played it though. And that, that, that's it. That's the, uh, <sighs> that's the beautiful, the beautiful list. Yeah, that, 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 that's a beautiful list. I found it on my phone when I was uh, at work and I was like, okay, this is definitely going to be a video because it's pretty bad. At least it didn't try to call SMT. Oh, wait, it did. It called Devil Children, which is a spinoff of SMT. Great. Let's see some of these. Uh, let's see some of these comments. Uh, <laughs> this guy's like, I will come through the internet to fight anyone who writes off Digimon as a knockoff. I wrote like a half thesis here, but accidentally refreshed the page before I could post. Let me just summarize by saying War Greymon rules. Thank you. Have a good day. And people are saying, yeah, I agree. Uh... It's mostly just people talking, but uh, okay, let's see, like just about random stuff. But I may not be the most objective observer, but Neopets wasn't really a Pokemon imitator. It was inspired by Tamagotchi. Yeah, so was Digimon, and and Dragon Warrior Monsters was in <laughs> what was inspired by its own its own franchise. So so stupid. I think this article could use some supplemental information, uh, specifically the last time they got these got an installment. Some of these lasted pretty damn long time from what I was ultimately an imitator that, that failed to stand up to the original after all. So since, okay, uh, rematch is the first two turned out. Okay, but, but again, they're not imitators though. Some of these lasted a pretty damn long time for what was ultimately an imitator that failed to stand up for the original. Claritic, nobody is saying that these games are imitators my man uh but but a lot of them did stand up for a long time and uh and it's just i i, I don't know it's just um it's sad to see that a lot of these games get get just oh oh they're pokemon clones and then they, they, they get no attention and you see it a lot with the indie games uh oh on the monster crown trailer i saw someone say like oh it's just pokemon and then like i even saw someone be like uh, Nexomon is, is, ugh, I don't even care, we're like, what, 17 minutes into the video, I'll swear. Nexomon is shit, um, Pokemon Legends, is, or, or Legends Arceus is where it's at, and, and, and we're gonna be sitting at the head table this time around, bra bra bra. and it's like, why do you have to hate so hard on another game just because it's similar? The Nexomon devs are such nice people, same with the publishers, and they don't want to kill Pokemon. Like, nobody wants Pokemon to die. People want, even the people who don't even like other Monster Tamer games, like, a lot of them are still happy with Monster Taming, uh, the Monster Taming community because it's, it, they're hoping, I don't think they, it, it will end up happening, but they're hoping that it'll give Pokemon some sort of competition to do better. I, I don't think that's a fair, um, that's a fair assessment to put on indie developers because most monster taming games are indie, but with AAA studios who have the same, um, well, not the same, but like similar resources to a company like Pokemon, um, th that, that's more realistic. And as monster taming games get, get, um, m like more popular, then we might see some, some really, really high quality AAA ones that might actually make Pokemon think twice about cutting corners. But that's not the point. The, the, the point is a lot of these people just, they, they, they just hate the idea of these games existing and i just find it very odd now i am ranting and i do apologize for that this is completely unscripted but um let me know what you guys think like it's it, it it's really sad to see like just just how the lengths that a lot of these guys will go just to label something as a clone um like let me know your thoughts what are your thoughts on games that are very like the Pokemon like games, right? Like Nexomon and Coromon and Temtem, like the, the ones that are more similar to Pokemon. I still wouldn't call them ripoffs because they they take what made games like Pokemon fun and and sort of spin it in their own direction. And I, I, even then I wouldn't call them ripoffs. So let me know what you guys think about um, the, the, this article and just the whole like uh, thing I mentioned earlier about like some fans getting really aggressive towards monster taming games and and why you might think that is because we have a lot of pokemon fans that also like monster taming games uh, I, I know for a fact i have a lot of followers that did enjoy the most recent pokemon games and they don't feel threatened by these games but there is a subsect of the pokemon community and, and i'm sure there's a subsect of even this community that hates pokemon but there's a like no matter what but there's a subsect of the pokemon community that just absolutely just loathes anything that that's even similar to it and 
I kind of find it interesting. I don't know if it's because they feel like anything that tries to attack or anything that tries to uh, do well in the same space as Pokemon is like attacking them. Like, like, like almost like a self-defense mechanism just to automatically like just just try to push it down or if it's something more anyways let me know your thoughts on all that uh if you did enjoy this long-winded rant and sort of article um response definitely let me know in the comments uh i would like to do more of these if they are something that you guys want to see uh subscribe to the channel if you're not already for more monster taming content and uh yeah special thanks to our patrons especially jim hamilton and Steelcase, our mythical tier backers and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.